Today is a mind-blowing guitar modes lesson. I promise you this will be the most insightful video you ever watch on modes, and here's why. Modes are taught as one-dimensional scales, but I'm here to open your eyes to the three-dimensional nature of these ancient sounds. Using my three keys, I'm going to equip you with a simple strategy to effortlessly make real music. Stop making the babe's ears bleed by playing random notes from regurgitated scale patterns. The time has come to channel the true character of these magical notes. So grab your ax because it's time to finger the G string. <laughs> I now have a free music theory email newsletter, free guitar tabs, tips and tricks. You can sign up for that below. Now, if you want to go deeper into music theory, check out my full music theory course. That's 50 plus videos at this point. Everything beginner to pro on the topic. And if you want to reach a full level 420, check out my Patreon page. That has all of my tabs, courses, reaction requests, and a direct line to me. It's also where you're going to find all the files for this lesson. Now, here's the $69 trillion question. What even is a mode? Well, the best way to visualize modes is to think on the piano keyboard. Starting on the note C, play all the white notes. That's a C major scale. A mode is just when you start on a different white note. For example, if you started on D and played all the white notes, well, you just played the D Dorian mode. D to D, that's double Ds. You have such voluptuous double Ds, Shred. <laughs> Start on E and play all the white notes. Now you've executed the E Phrygian mode. Now there's seven modes in all before we get back to our starting note C. So a mode is just beginning on a different note within a scale. Don't get it twisted though, starting on a different note drastically affects the sound as you'll soon hear. Buckle up, because we're about to go through each and every magical mode of the major scale using my three keys to unlock their true power. You're never gonna stop playing with your wood now. So what are my three keys? Pedal tones, chords, and counterpoint. Without these three keys, I promise 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 you'll never unlock the concept of modes in your mind it's kind of like repeating a phrase in a foreign language without understanding what you're saying your phrasing body language and pronunciation won't make sense to a native speaker ionian or the major scale is up first the quality of this mode is happy uplifting and a bit cheesy to be honest Everybody knows major is lame. The notes in C Ionian are C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. Always, always practice your scales to a pedal tone, please. This is the first key. Go to YouTube and type in C drone. Play the scale along to this drone and absorb the tonal quality of each pitch. Without a constant reference to the root, I promise you will fail to encode the emotional data into your brain. The sensitive pitches or tendency tones in C Ionian are the major third and the major seventh. Now it's time for my second and most crucial key to unlock the true power of Ionian. I'm talking about chords. Wait, Shred's talking crazy because I thought modes were scales. 420% false. Modes are really musical moods. And to achieve a particular mood, we need to deploy not just melody, but harmony as well. The C Ionian primary chords are represented by the formula one, four, and five, or C, F, and G. G stands for good God, I love the modes. Mm -hmm. 
I voiced each chord over a fixed C root or pedal tone. Studying modes without pedal tones is a complete waste of time because you simply won't hear them. Finally, my third key to unlock modal mastery is the C word, k -k counterpoint. Counterpoint is simply the science of melody. By studying counterpoint, we can construct short modal phrases that can be used as song material. This is how you put the scale and the chords together, resulting in a full musical arrangement. Here's an example. Now, basically, all you have to do is repeat this process for every mode, and you will master the language of music and become an expert G-string fingerer.